Well, let's just set up first. We're like like I said earlier, we need an input stream and an output stream. So again, we're just going to set up um, set these up real quick. And again, this will just be an input ver input stream variable, and uh, we're going to call it input stream is for input stream. Uh, again, we have to import this. I'm using these because this is kind of some of the examples I saw other people using. So if you guys look at different examples, you kind of know what's going on. But yep, input stream, and we want to set this up as uh, getting a resource from our raw folder. Uh, first, we got to get get the resource folder, and then we got to get our raw folder, and then we want to pick one of these things. So to get our input stream, we're going to say uh, get resources dot open raw resources, and then this is basically what song we want. So we can do song one. And this is that's the part I was kind of concerned about explaining. I'll go back to that for now because that's only, only going to be that one song, and we want to change that. But now we also need to say, set up an output stream, and also uh, before we continue, I forgot. Like I said, this isn't going to do a lot of error checking. This is bottom of the line, just a way to save a file to the phone. And for example, if there's something labeled. Like if they had an important like wedding picture or something, and we labeled this like wedding picture, the exact same name, it'd override it, and they'd probably be pretty pissed at you for for your app doing that. But uh, yeah, make sure it's like a unique label if you guys don't want to lose any songs or whatever. So keep that in mind. And then we also have to import the output stream. Sorry about it. Output stream and. We're going to set this up to equal pretty much a, a new file output stream. Um, what is this going to take in as parameters? Well, this is going to take in the parameters file because this is going to output the stream and we want it to output our file that we set up which will locate the path and give it a name. So then we just want to close that off and I don't know, we might have to import file output stream as well. And now we need to set up an array to take in all the data from um, from basically our resource right here. So what we need to do next is we need to set up an array and it's going to be a bit array or a byte. And again, it's just going to read pretty much all the bytes available in that resource. And uh, that's basically all it's going to do. So we need to say set up a new byte array. And um, to set up an array for length like we did with that one uh, food one, uh, you can put in a bunch of stuff. And it'll basically determine the length of that array. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up this variable in here, uh, our input stream. And then we also want to say, hey, if it's available, or how, however many is available of uh, bytes of this resource, basically. So it's going to get all of the bytes of data from that resource. And then we're just going to, oh, we didn't name this. So we're going to just name this data. Um, again, these are kind of from an example I used off the actual Android developer page so you guys can probably check that out. I'll put a link down there. And then uh, what else do we want to do? Well we want to use this data and um, and actually actually use all this stuff that we set up so far because um, we haven't really you know used anything yet. So first we're going to say um, input stream and we're going to say, uh, what do we want our input stream to do? Well, we want it to uh, read, and we want it to read our data, uh, data, uh, data byte bit array. Sorry about it. So basically, what this is doing is is reading all the data 
from the resource of the input stream. And then we just want to say our output stream, well, we want to write this data now um, because we read it and it's not going to do anything unless if we write it. So we want to write the data. And again, this will be the output stream of where we set up that file up here. So it's going to read the data from the input stream and then write the data to the file that we set up. And then all you have to do is close off both, both the input stream and the output stream. And we are pretty much, uh, pretty much done now. So, uh, it's giving us an error because we need to catch the exceptions. So we're going to say uh, catch input output exception. Call it E. And what do we want this to do? Well, if this is going to fail, or I'm going to import this real quick. If this is going to fail, well, we just want to set up a toast saying that it failed. So we're going to say toast fail equals toast. Uh, make text um, tutorial. You guys have done this before. You're experts at this. And uh, so now we know if it's not uh, basically working in our try, it's going to go to the exception, which is fail. And we also need to show that toast. Something I always forget. I don't know why. But uh, we're going to show that toast. And now every time we long press our button, it's going to save a new file, which is going to be Corn Boy's Song, whatever our radio button is selected at the moment, uh, .mp3, onto the directory of the download directory in our phone. And the pro only problem is right here is it's only going to do this with song one. And we don't really want to copy and paste and copy and paste to figure it out. So we're, what we're going to do is another switching case. And again, we're just going to take in switch as what song. Again, this will be a number 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. And uh, so we got case 1. If the first radio button is selected, we want to set up a new variable. We're going to call it resource song or R song. And we're going to say um, R dot uh, RAR dot song one break. And then we can also do this for um, pretty much all the other cases. Wow, I'm really tired. Sorry, this is probably a really boring lesson, but. Um, yeah, we're just going to set up all these uh, resources to match what our what song is. Again, it's not noticing this, so we're just going to set this up. Um, first, I want to show you guys, as you should probably know, it takes an integer. This is an integer. It doesn't really seem like one, but we're going to set this up as our song, and it's still giving us an error because we haven't set up what our song is. So we're going to scroll up to the top where we defined all our other variables that we want to use for the whole class. And as you can see, I set it up earlier, but uh, we're going to call it our song. And that should get rid of all those errors. And now it will save whatever song is selected on the radio button. And it's also going to save uh, as Corn Boy's song 1, 2, 3, or 4 dot mb3 to the download directory. And then basically that's uh, all you guys need to do to save something to the person's phone. And again, I'll give you guys some more info of, of something. I don't know exactly. I'll, I'll, that's all you need to know to write files to the person's phone. So again, I'm sorry. It's, it's kind of a boring lesson. I'm kind of out of it, to be honest with you. But again, thanks for watching, subscribing, and uh, you know, joining the forum and all that great stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I'm going to try and make some more videos, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace. Oh, yeah, and I also just wanted to uh, tell you guys again, if you guys are messing around on your phones, um, just make sure you unplug your uh, USB cord 
and then let your SD card prepare itself again before you like try and save it. Otherwise, you'll always get a fail, and you'll be like, "What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong?" But all you have to do is unplug that cord so your SD card can, you know, be prepared to the phone and get set up so you can actually save to it. And one more thing, I promise. <laughs> I forgot. Another thing you guys probably want to do is just set up a new toast in your uh, try section of that try and catch. Uh, just to say, like, you know, song was saved to the phone. So you guys can, like, kind of know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to actually do that. But, yep, you guys should probably do that uh, just to make sure you know what's going on. Thanks again. Peace.